everyone and welcome to our session. I'm Grace McNamara and I'm a product manager here at Microsoft in the Identity and Network Access Division. Today, we are very excited to be introducing Microsoft Entra Workload Identities, an identity and access management solution that will help you to secure your apps and services in your environment. In this session, you'll learn about what workload identities are and how Entra Workload Identities can help you to protect them more effectively. My colleague Eitan will walk you through some of the key capabilities of these new features with a product demo. And then Stefan will share some more practical resources to help you to get started. So what exactly are workload identities? Humans are not the only users who need identities. Along with human identities, such as employees, customers, and partners, there are non-human entities which need identities in order to authenticate and access resources. The most common example of these are applications, services, and scripts. A workload identity is an identity that we assign to apps and services to control and secure their access. In Microsoft Entra, workload identities include applications and service principles. Then when do we use these workload identities? The most common use case is when you deploy apps or build cloud services. Those apps and services are provided an identity that allows access to other resources. As more workloads continue to move to the cloud, there is a dramatic increase in the need to manage these workload identities. To help remedy this increased management need, some companies model their workloads as user identities and use existing identity management solutions that they've been using for their human identities. But due to the distinct difference in characteristics and usage patterns between workload identities and user identities, Many traditional identity and access management capabilities don't apply to workload identities. This poses various challenges when it comes to protecting your workload identities. For instance, once a workload identity is created, there's limited visibility into the activity of that identity. This makes it difficult to measure the impact of removing that identity and can lead to the retention of potentially redundant identities. Secondly, most human users can remember their passwords but apps and services are not like humans. Since secrets for workload identities need to be stored somewhere, there is a higher potential for leaked secrets or credentials, meaning an increased risk of identity breach. Also, the lack of capabilities for securing workload identity access in current solutions makes it difficult to find the right way to safely manage them and recognize which privilege access is unnecessary and can potentially be removed. As companies increase their cloud presence, their workload identity populations continue to grow. Organizations typically have more applications and services to manage than they have employees. According to our internal research, organizations typically have five times more workloads than human users. That ratio will become one to 20 in five years. Even just within Microsoft Entra, the number of workload identities has more than tripled in the last three years. Many organizations have been focused on user account security to defend against the increase in password spray and phishing attacks, implementing measures such as multi-factor authentication and even moving to passwordless authentication. As security for user accounts continues to improve, recent cyber attacks show that bad actors are turning their attention to workload identities. All of these factors have made it a high priority for us here at Microsoft to extend our capabilities to address this important area. Now let me introduce my colleague Eitan, who will discuss our new range of Entra features for securing workload identities. Thanks, Grace. It's great to be able to represent the hard work of all of our product teams in this area. As Grace mentioned, this identity type has been around for a long time and is continuing to grow. So it's critical that we secure these identities with a defense in depth approach. To help achieve that, we are introducing Microsoft Entra Workload Identities. With Entra Workload Identities, you can detect risk of compromise, contain potential threats, and improve your security posture for workload identities, all within the new Entra Admin Center. As many of you know, conditional access is one of the most powerful forms of access control in the industry. So bringing that control to workload identities has been critical. Last year, we announced location-based policies, where you can specify a given trusted location and then restrict sign-in location for one or more workload identities. Conditional access blocks any sign-in attempted from outside those trusted locations. Now, in addition, 
Sign-ins targeting Microsoft Graph are protected by default by continuous access evaluation, which will instantly enforce those location controls. And finally, conditional access supports risk-based policies for workload identities, allowing you to block access when identity protection flags an account for risk. As Grace mentioned, the workload identity lifecycle is less defined and difficult to manage. So what kind of events get flagged for risk with workload identities? In short, we're looking across the identity lifecycle to spot indicators of compromise. We look for compromised credentials, anomalous sign-ins, and unauthorized changes to the account. And while we've learned a lot from our user detections in the past several years, we've discovered that workload identities have some unique characteristics that require purpose-built detections. Another key aspect to defense in depth is attestation, the process of reviewing, confirming, or revoking access to enforce the zero trust principle of least privilege. With access reviews in privileged identity management, you can delegate reviews to the right people focused on the most important privileged roles. Finally, hardening application credentials is a key aspect of workload identity security. This means moving from using secrets to certificates, or from long-lived credentials to ones that are rotated frequently. And while Microsoft recommends using managed identity for all application scenarios, we know that there are times when you'll need to manage credentials for apps on your own. Application management policies give you the controls to reduce the risk of credential compromise. You can define what credential types are supported for new or existing applications in your organization. Just as we want to do for human identities, we want to help you enforce access control with more granular policies to contain potential threats against workload identities. Let's start by creating a new policy. Go to the conditional access blade, select new policy, and give it a name. Under assignments, in the drop-down box, select workload identities and choose whether this policy should apply to all your line of business applications or just to a specific set. If you select the latter, you can search for a certain application and target just that. But to prevent potential threats from happening again with other apps, it's a good idea to apply this policy to all apps. Under Cloud Apps, select All Cloud Apps. Now for the conditions. This is where automation really comes into play, because we are going to set a policy to automatically block access when the system detects something outside the norm. You can create a risk-based policy by selecting Service Principal Risk and selecting which level of risk should trigger a block control. Choose any combination of high, medium, and low. You can also create a location-based policy for workload identities. I recommend creating a separate policy for blocking access from outside of a trusted location. You can do this by first setting up the trusted locations for the data center where you host that specific application. Under Grant Controls, select Block Access, and now you've built your policy. The Report Only default lets you put the policy in a silent mode that will log the activity without blocking access. This way, you can pilot the policy for a bit to make sure it doesn't cause any unintended consequences. Once you're ready, you can switch the policy to on, and you're done. During that piloting phase, the conditional access insights and reporting will give you a more holistic view. It will show you which workload identities would have successfully signed in, which ones your policies would have blocked, and which ones were out of scope. To help you identify which workload identities need to be prioritized for that type of access control, I'd like to show you how to find workload identities at risk with identity protection. Starting from the security blade, let's navigate to identity protection. One of the first things you'll notice is a new blade called Risky Workload Identities. This is a single pane of glass that shows any applications or services that identity protection has flagged for risk. On this blade, you can select any row to get more information about the associated workload identity. And as you can do for risky users, you can either take immediate action, like confirming or dismissing the risk, or you can explore more details by selecting risk detections, audit logs, or sign-ins. It looks like the Contoso app's identity is at risk. Let's see why. We can filter on those detections here, or navigate down to the risk detections blade, where you'll see a new tab entitled Workload Identity Detections. 
There, you can get more specific information about the detected risk, including when it was detected, the detection type, and the risk level. It looks like identity protection found a leaked credential in GitHub. Someone must have checked in some credentials in code. If I click here for more information, I can view the repository to see the credentials and who worked on this. That way, I can follow up with my app team. Now that we're monitoring for risk and have access controls in place, it's a good opportunity to review which workload identities have access to privileged roles. In the Identity Governance Blade, under Privileged Identity Management, select Azure AD Roles under Manage, and then Access Reviews under the Manage menu. Then select New, enter a name, description, and set the recurrence cycle of the review based on what's right for your team. You can set it for only once, but we recommend a recurring review. Then select Scope for Service Principles. Under Role, select the privileged roles you want to review. This way, the review will capture any workload identity in your organization with these roles. Given that leaked credential, let's review all the workload identities that have an admin role by bulk selecting them. You can then select which reviewers should reattest access for these workload identities. This can either be a set of individual users or one or more groups. Now let me introduce my colleague, Stefan van der Wiele, to share some insights on how our customers are using these new capabilities. Thanks, Stefan. As you have seen in the demo, we provide a lot of functionality to protect and manage workload identities and their access. There's a lot more coming. Let's go through a few scenarios that our customers are using or planning to implement with Microsoft Entra workload identities. One of the most popular features our customers are using today is risk-based conditional access for workload identities. One of our customers in medical technology raised a concern about sharing control of an app with external application teams. But risk-based conditional access policies have reduced that concern by ensuring the app is used securely. As you have seen in the demo, our customers are getting identity protection goodness added to their workload identities. This protects against common attacks on workload identities by using machine learning and data from across the Microsoft ecosystem. So even if the workload identity is compromised, leaked by accident, or due to a data breach, we can protect the misuse of it. A security analyst who has been dealing with a number of applications with incident customers shared that identity protection for workload identities have enabled them to prevent malicious apps from accessing sensitive data or moving laterally into the victim's environment. In addition to the proactive protection, we also offer reactive protection. All usage, creation, modification, and deletion are locked and can be exported to a SIEM system like Microsoft Sentinel. From conversations with our customers, we found that with Microsoft Entra workload identities, the full circle of protecting a workload identity is covered, from governance to usage and reporting. Securing workload identities is also an important part of a zero trust strategy. Setting more granular access conditions for workload identities can be the first step when extending the reach of the verified explicitly principle of zero trust. Access reviews will help reach a least privileged access stage, not only for human identities, but now also for workload identities. Assume breach is a key part of zero trust strategy. When detecting compromised workload identities, you can prevent attackers from leveraging them as a foothold to move laterally inside. A customer in the shipping industry shared that knowing risky workload identities in their environment is critical to drive application security as part of their zero trust journey. As you can see, the new capabilities of Microsoft workload identities help you to accelerate your zero trust adoption across different types of identities in your organization. We are very keen on helping you protect your workload identities. Want to get started? We highly recommend having a look at our playbooks and recommended practices that help you to kickstart your implementation. Microsoft Entra workload identities will be generally available in November 2022. Go try out these new capabilities and get a free 90-day trial in the Microsoft Entra portal at entra.microsoft.com. Want to learn more about Microsoft Entra workload identities and licensing? Go to microsoft.com forward slash security.
We would like to know what you think about these capabilities and what we should work on next. Come join our product roundtable session at 11.30 a.m. on Thursday, October 13th, where you can meet our Microsoft Entra workload identity experts. Learn more at aka.ms forward slash workload identities.